Hello, and welcome to the first tutorial related to the setup and use of the finite element code Sapphire. In this video, I'll explain you how to set up Git, a general purpose mesh generator, to create models for Sapphire. To begin with, you'll need to have Git installed in your computer. You can download Git at their website. You'll find a link to their website below in the description for this video. Select the versions that match your Windows operating system. Choose the version you wish to download. Download it. And install it. As soon as the git installation has finished, open it. You'll be asked for a password for your version of git. In case you don't have one, you can use the evaluation version, which has some limitations. You're now ready to start using git. The problem types are the files that allow to transform the meshes generated by git into files that can be run by Sapphire. If you go to Data, Problem Type, you'll find a list of problem types that come with Git by default. You can find the problem types for Git at the Sapphire Downloads webpage. The link to this page is provided in the description for this video. Please note that the problem types for Sapphire will only work correctly in Windows systems. To find the problem types, scroll down until you find the preprocessor section. Here, you'll also find information about the modifications that have been made to the different versions of the problem types, a set of examples that you can follow to learn how to use Git Sapphire and a list of common errors made by users that you can learn from. Download the file containing the problem types and zip it, cut it and search for the place on your computer where you've installed Git. Here, you'll find the folder named Problem Types. Place the Sapphire Problem Types inside this folder. Now, restart Git so that the Sapphire problem types can be loaded into the program. In order to run Sapphire from Git, you'll have to set an environment variable telling git where to find the sapphire.exe file. Please note that the file needs to be named exactly like this, regardless of the use of capital letters or not. To create the environment variable, go to the Home button and look for Edit the System Environment Variables. Click on New. 
and set the variable name as sapphire underscore dear. Set the variable value as the path of the folder where you wish to put the sapphire.x file. Click OK twice. The environment variable is now set and Git knows where to find the Sapphire executable. To open the problem types, open Git, go to Data, Problem Type, and choose the problem type that you want to open. You'll find five options. Sapphire Structural 2D and 3D, Sapphire Thermal 2D and 3D, and the problem type that allows to create thermal models for shells. Click on the one you wish to use to create a model for Sapphire. You can now start working on your model.